Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial, you will learn on how to enhance your WordPress website in 2023 by connecting it to ChatGPT. This step-by-step -step tutorial will walk you through the integration process enabling your site to offer advanced AI-powered interactions. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing that I will suggest you to do is to firstly open your browser, then head up and open Zapier. Because Zapier is the tool that we are going to use to both connect ChatGPT with our WordPress website. First of all, here, you have to go and open Zapier and connect your account. The next thing is that you will face this sidebar menu Click here on apps and you will find all the apps that you have in your account. Let's start by searching for ChatGPT. Search for chat and you will find ChatGPT as your first uh, account to be appeared. So simply for that exact thing, I'm going to get uh, an uh, API key. So to do that, go to your OpenAI account. Here we go. And in here, guys, you will find your API key. So it's a very easy thing. So simply click on this, click on login, and then just log in to the API. So you'll find here both ChatGPT and API. Click on API and click on the top right corner, personal, and view API keys and create one for WordPress. Then click on create secret key, copy it, and then now go ahead and paste it on that window. Let me just open this. Here we have it. So let's name it WordPress. And then yes, continue to try GPT. We hit an error adding your new account. So authentication field, make sure you click allow or accept on the permission, permission pop-up and etc. So double check your account has the correct permissions, etc. Um, here, let me just close that. The problem that I have faced is that um, my own API key is not in the same browser as my account, but this is not a big problem since I have been using like two different profiles. That is why I have this problem. No problem for that. Now the next thing is to connect our WordPress. So simply just search for WordPress and choose whatever WordPress you have. You have WordPress, WordPress with legacy and WordPress website creator. Go for the thing that will fit you the best. So in our case, guys, simply we are going to go with WordPress. So click on connect and do the same, the same thing. They will ask you for your WP admin, go to it and then get the API key or just press, put here the domain name of your WordPress website. And here you'll have to put both username and the password of your dashboard. So this is pretty much the most important thing. Right after you finish with that, make sure to go to your apps and clarify if they have been connected successfully. Just by clicking on these three points, you can go to test connection and you will find the answer right after that. So the test has been done successfully. That means that our connection is made without any problems. Now, to create an automation between ChatGPT and WordPress, what you will need to do is to simply head up to create a Zap. And here, basically, all you need to do, you will face a prompt. This is like a box, a uh, text box, where you can write whatever you have in mind. For example, um, whenever a client comes to WordPress and orders, um, create a HTML or an HTML file website with table describing, for example, uh, the details using chat GPT. And there we have it. So generate. And now let's just, let's just wait. So the most important thing is we put the names of our apps in our prompt. So just like that, it will know what apps we should use. So now, here we go. We have create HTML website with table for WordPress order using ChatGPT.
So here, new post, conversion, create image, create image, create image. Uh, it will be done with HTML CSS, and then it will send us uh, the file or like the code in our email. So now all we need to do is to try it out by clicking on this try button. As you can see here, click on it. And we will have all these apps to be connected into. You will have WordPress, ChatGPT, uh, and these other apps. So simply what you will have to do now is to log in and make sure that your connection is logged into each one of these apps successfully without any problems. So once you are done connecting to each one of these, this icon over here should be changed from this triangle into this circle, which is the green circle. Each one of these has to be green circle, which is the correct. Then, after that, a publish button will be appeared instead of fix to publish. Make sure to click on it and then turn this button on. And just like that, the automation is done, the integration is done, and you are now ready to go. Something that you have to put in mind also is once you try to create a zap in Zapier, make sure that you have enough zaps. For me, I have a limited and we have enough tasks. For me, I have only 1k task. The tasks are pretty much important because each uh, action will be costed as a task. Let's say that there is 500 visitors, there will be 500 tasks. If there is 200, there will be 200 tasks. If there is 1k uh, or 5k, it will be, in my case, only 1k task. The other 4k will be lost since I don't have the premium version and I am now on the free trial. So these are the most things to put in mind. If you do have limited zaps as well, make sure to turn off the zaps that you are not interested in. And guys, again, one more information is uh, if you do have more than five apps or three apps, for example, this one, let me just click on it. So each one of these is mentioned as a zap. For example, WordPress with ChatGPT is one zap. ChatGPT with this one is one zap. Uh, HTML with HTML is one zap. HTML CSS with the other HTML CSS is one zap. And finally, HTML CSS with the outbound email is also one zap. So it's also here we have around one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have around three zaps in our one zap uh, automation. So this is a pretty important thing to put in mind while you are doing uh, the automation and creating your zaps. Make sure that you have enough space for your zaps and for your tasks as well. And yeah, guys, just like that, we have arrived for another two hour videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys a lot for watching. If you do have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. So that, without further talking, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.